Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing Thai property, or specifically we're discussing Thai real estate. And I'm thinking residential real estate is sort of the context of this video. The, so we're talking about somebody that owns a Thai house, so a house in Thailand. And I'm kind of looking at this in the context. There are those that may have utilized a corporate structure to enjoy property here in Thailand. There are those that may have a spouse, a Thai spouse, that they own the uh, own Thai real estate or a Thai house in that Thai spouse's name, and they're looking to sell the property. So we're, we're, hearing, we're getting a fair number of inquiries on sale of Thai property, especially in the aftermath of the coronavirus shutdown. And unfortunately, yeah, it's sort of hard times for folks, and, and we're sort of seeing this. Also, I would note, those who are looking to buy real estate in Thailand, this is a pretty good time to be looking because frankly, there's a lot of bargains to be had out there. That being stated, the scope of this video is sale of Thai real estate. And an attorney can be rather helpful. We have Thai attorneys here on staff who assist with conveyancing matters frequently. Thai property, not just land and real estate, but various leases, so selling a lease, for example. The, um, in this case, we're discussing the sale of a house, and where you're selling a house, there are certain things that need to be kept in mind. You need to deal with what is the structure of the ownership? Is the Thai spouse the owner? Is, the, is there a corporate owner involved? What's the title like? Is it a bifurcated title wherein the foreign, there's a foreign spouse that has title to the house itself or, and the Thai spouse has title to the land. Meanwhile, it could be a mortgage situation. Does the foreign spouse have a mortgage over the property? Does the bank have a mortgage over the property? Is there some sort of usufruct in place over that property? Some of these rights need to be unified before a sale can occur. Also, what's the tax liability associated with the sale of a Thai property? including a house. Is there a specific income tax associated with that? Is the residential property tax going to apply? Is it commercial property tax, depending on the posture of the real estate? All of this needs to be assessed. Probably not a terrible idea to contact a legal professional in order to ascertain all of the various aspects of the posture of the property and the steps for the transfer of the ownership prior to undertaking the sale of the property itself. 